So I had done a review on St. Remy's VSOP. And I had said that this French brandy didn't thrill me. And I wasn't too sure if it was a VSOP thing or a French thing. Or maybe it just, you know, it's just something I didn't care for. So after drinking this one, I went out and bought another VSOP in a very different clear but similar looking bottle, ironically. And this is Hartley. You can just see that here. I'll roll it around. Hartley's VSOP. And it says, brandy with natural flavors and caramel color added. 40% proof made with imported brandy. It's bottled in Louisiana. And I have my glasses off, not because I can't read it, but it's just reading through clear is hard. So I don't know much about Hartley. It's obviously a... I'm going to guess it's maybe a foreign company. Uh, oh, wait, there's a flag here. It's a green, white, and red flag. I don't know what country this is for, but that may give me a hint of where the headquarters for Hartley is. Um, so, if anyone knows where the brandy is coming from, that and if Hartley is the same country, or if Hartley is like an American company that's importing its brandies, which should be a very interesting thing. Like, if I know French... Brandies are really good, why not import them from my American company? That would be genius. I do find one interesting thing here, and it says caramel color added. This is now the third bottle of brandy I have found with caramel color added. Let me just look at this other one while I have it here. Uh, this does not say that. I don't know. So, I am very interested now, and maybe someone can tell me what why that is. Is it is it part of the distilling? Does it make the distilling better? Does it make the taste better? Or is it just for coloring? Is there something about the care and storage of brandy, which caramel helps? Uh, I'm going to assume caramel has, like, sugars and stuff in it that m might be important to the distilling process. I don't know. I'm interested. It's something I should look up. Um, so a couple questions for you, my viewers. Feed me information, please. Now, back to where I started. VSOP, which for me is a true flavored brandy. It's not flavored by blackberry or coffee or anything else. This is brandy out of a barrel, being in a barrel for a couple years. That's what VSOP stands for. I didn't like one. Would I like the other one? Yeah, kinda. I don't think it was as much a distaste as the first VSOP, but I wasn't... I wasn't grooving on a riff here. So, I am beginning to think, based on brandies I have had since this one, that my personal taste may not be for French style brandies. I don't know. We're going to explore more. So this says something. If you're not a brandy drinker and you don't know your brandies, maybe some brands, even though they look cool and they're imported and this was a little pricier than your bottom line brandy, so this is a, a nicer brandy and it's been in a crate for a few years. Sorry, a barrel, not a crate. Um, that would just be so obnoxious. Would that be literally brandy in a box, like wine in a box? Brandy in a crate? But just because you've got all these things that supposedly make brandy great, it may not be to your taste buds. This is a weird way of reviewing the brandy. I do want to say this wasn't bad. Uh, I didn't want to throw it up, but I wasn't trying to drink it and falling in love with it. It was a bit strong for me. Um, it had a powerful alcoholic taste that I, I, if my mom came by who never drinks and I said, oh, try some of this, I wouldn't give her this one. It's just a real powerful drink. So this is an odd duck review and I, I understand that and I'll probably give Hartley another try down the road and any, you know, whatever. But I'm giving this review just the same quasi-review. For your feedback and your comments and your thoughts, 
I'm really open to what you say and what you think. And again, I drank this like a month or so ago, so my memory is also forgetting. But the fact that I, yeah, I'm iffy on it and I remain nebulous about how good it was, please, you share with me, reversing the whole review thing, I'm opening it up. It's a discussion time more so than a review.